protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com The $15 National Minimum Wage Hike. Is this a good idea or another recipe for disaster? If you ask a Bernie Sanders supporter, they will explain that this new wage requirement is exactly what the country needs in order to make it a more fair place to live. And that's the centerpiece of Bernie Sanders' presidential campaign, a national $15 per hour minimum wage requirement. Bernie's campaign page lists this as one of his issues, a living wage. Sanders says millions of Americans are working for total inadequate wages. We must ensure that no full-time worker lives in poverty. The current federal minimum wage is starvation pay and must become a living wage. We must increase it to $15 an hour over the next several years. This statement sounds good as nobody likes to see others who are doing their best suffer, but a fine-sounding statement and an effective working policy are entirely different beasts. Will a $15 minimum living wage actually ease some of the poverty that many suffer across America? Or will the effects of that policy lead to the opposite? A spread of poverty throughout the country at an unprecedented rate Countless economists and historians have expressed their concerns over the Democratic Socialist minimum wage plan. In May 2014, Seattle set their minimum wage at $15 an hour starting in April over the next year. Forbes magazine predicts that the wage hike will lead to slower job growth as well as lower quality production. Earlier this month, Investors Business Daily analyzed the results of six cities that increased their minimum wage to $10 or more. The latest data show that job gains ground to a halt in the nation's capital in 2015, and that was a sharp drop from the 3% annual job gains in 2014, meaning restaurants, hotels, and other employers went from adding 2,000 jobs to adding zero. And that's a city already saddled with a 6.6% jobless rate. The timing of this zero job gain coincides with a $1 minimum wage hike to $10.50 an hour last July. And then there's Chicago that raised its minimum rate to $10.50 an hour, not $15 like Sanders proposes nationwide. And already their job market is frozen. People have stopped hiring. The Business Daily article shows similar data across five cities who all raised their minimum wage. But facts and data are no fun, especially to a Bernie Sanders supporter who seems to feel that the government is there to make everything fair for everyone, regardless of the economy. The facts prove otherwise. With a mandated minimum wage raise, employment slows down and production quality also suffers. Now add this to the equation, the reality of a robotic workforce. Unlike human labor, robots do not require a break or sleep. They might break down once in a while, but they will not get sick or ask for a raise. They will not need vacation time, and they will be able to outperform almost any laborer at their profession. And all that for one low price, compared to their human counterparts. New headlines appear almost daily, boasting about the impending technology shift. Remember, these robots are not just the clunky assembly line models. The tasks these robots can perform will shock many. A $15 an hour national minimum wage might usher in the robotic labor age with a fast food serving labor force, but it won't end there. Looking out in the future, the next phase of these robots won't just be physical labor, but mental labor as well. Those high paying jobs that many of us went into debt to get with our college degrees will also be off the market. Some say this automated economy is a reality that is going to happen with or without a national minimum wage hike. Perhaps. We will never know what the free market defines as a desirable product when the government steps in and alters the market with its own mandate and expenses. If all of these regulations interfere with the normal profit margin and new laws on labor prices cripple the process altogether, then a robot worker, regardless of the profession, will be the only choice. It is already difficult for entrepreneurs to get started in our bureaucratically run economy. While the taxes, permits, lawyers, and a rise in labor costs by upwards of 60%, the government is basically force-feeding us into a robotic reality. So Bernie Sanders supporters out there should rethink the Sanders living wage platform. Because a living wage just might end up killing the human workforce. Rob Dew reporting for InfoWars.com and InfoWars Nightly News. Clean, pure drinking water. You can't survive without it. But where do you get it? Alexa Pure Pro is a brand new, groundbreaking, gravity-fed water filtration system that is like no other. The Alexa Pure Pro transforms water from virtually any fresh source into clean, healthy drinking water, pairing the unprecedented superfiltration power of an all-new gravity block core with a hybrid chromatic shell. It removes up to 99.999% of impurities, including bacteria, viruses, fluoride, disinfectants, volatile organic contaminants and hormones filter capacity up to 5,000 gallons stainless steel construction 
easy assembly, low maintenance, replacement filters are simple to install. And now, as part of an exclusive limited time introductory offer, you can save $20 off the retail price and get free shipping. This is a limited time offer, so order your unit today and receive free shipping and $20 off. Go to InfoWarsStore.com or call 888-253-3139.